Uh, a couple things. First of all, I think it's a great schedule. When you're looking at those home games, we haven't had those type of home games here. Um, I mean, maybe ever. I mean, when you're talking about that home schedule with with the 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 conference schedule with when the American plus Gonzaga plus everyone else in the non-conference. I mean, it is an absolute awesome schedule. Let me say that. That's one. Secondly, it is critical, critical that we pack the FedEx form. I want the fans to understand that you, the Tiger Nation is the best. But it is so important because of our TV exposure, which is I think is the best it's ever been as in terms of non-conference and conference combined with the package that we have. It is so important, the exposure, that that, that, that form is packed every single game. So important. Because on the other hand, with that being packed, it allows us to keep the momentum going for in the future to keep the American Conference Tournament here at Memphis. Because what everyone wants to see is 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 the support. And and we've all bragged about it. I've bragged about it. Everyone, they, they know. And that's why this is an opportunity for us to really showcase with the, with the television we get to uh, uh, have that forum packed on every single game. On top of that, I think we got to have a chance to have an exciting team. Um, and it's going to be a great league, man. I mean, this is a high, high-level basketball league. Um, our schedule is extremely tough, uh, but we're up for the challenge. We're looking forward to it. Uh, I'm excited about it. A lot to look forward to, and um, it's going to be fun. But again, we got to pack that form. Continue to pack it. We were 11th in the country in attendance, which is phenomenal. But let's get that thing up to in the top 10. Try to even squeeze in the top five. And that's just continuing every every single game. So uh, it's going to be important. But again, got game day coming, which is tremendous. Um, you only get eight a, eight, a, eight a year. We're one of the spots. I know the, the ESPN network absolutely loves Memphis. I mean, people talk about our passion fan base. That's one of the reasons we we're able to get game day here is because of our fan base. The reason we were able to get the conference tournament is because of the fan base. The reason we're able to be on the, as many times nationally televised is because of the fan base so we got to continue that continue moving forward with that and, and again that's a credit to tiger nation uh, i mean this league's as good as any league in the country i mean you look at it, it might be the best basketball league in the country i mean this is a big time big time basketball league you get the defending national champs yukon's loaded uh, cincinnati's loaded um, <clears throat> you got temple who's really good uh, always well coached uh, you know south florida's got sleep i mean they're a sleeper team they're good they're very, very good. Uh, Stan Heath does an amazing job there. I think Rutgers, people thought Rutgers was going to go away. They got a lot of guys back who have thought about transferring. And Eddie Jordan's a great coach. Then how about the teams who are coming in from Conference USA? I think Houston's a sleeper. They just got L.J. Rose eligible. Houston's good. Uh, Central Florida, they've got their base with their whole team back besides Clanton. And Donnie Jones does an amazing job there, and as does – um, uh, Larry Brown, obviously, at SMU. I think SMU is a dark horse or a sleeper team. They got their whole starting five back, plus three guys who have sat out, plus three high-level recruits coming in. We'll, we will be allowed to start practice. Our first official day of practice is October the 3rd. Starting that day, October the 3rd, we'll have 12 days. We'll have 12. We have to give them off 12 days uh, before Austin P, which is November 40, 14th. So we have 30 practices and 12 days off from October 3rd to November 14th. So that will be me trying to balance to make sure we, we fit in all that um, and give us the most time to prepare. And then we'll have Memphis Madness, which will be October 18th. Once again, I mean, it's a great opportunity that's going to be on, the, on, on ESPN, on one of the family of networks of ESPN, Memphis Madness. I mean, so that's, uh, there's a great opportunity for that, and that's because of the fact of Tiger Nation. They're not wanting Tiger Nation. They're not wanting to put Memphis on – on October 18th for Memphis Madness as a possibility of for TV if it's not because of the fans. So that's another that's another date out there for that. I, I, the reason we get game day is is we're you know is because of you know Tiger Nation. I mean they don't go to game day if you're not going to have if you don't have great passionate fan base and our fans I believe are as passionate if not one of the most if not the most passionate in the country when it comes to when it comes to basketball. So. Uh, um, you know, there's no doubt about that, and this is an opportunity once again to show it, not only just on game day, but every game. People want, I mean, the national television crews want to come to Memphis because of the fans. That's why we're able to keep the program at such a high level 
is because of the fans. It's a direct correlation. The fans deserve so much credit, and we got to even turn it up another level, another notch with the exposure that we're going to get. We'll get we're going to get tested early. We're going to get tested right from our start off in in, in Austin P, then right to Oklahoma State, and I mean, and then and then from there on, I mean, we're going to be tested. So. We'll know a lot about our team. We'll know our strengths, some of our weaknesses, what we need to fix, what we need to adjust. And, but on the other hand, the team's got to play us too. I mean, I think we got a chance to have a good year. Um, I think we can have a chance to have four great senior guards if Michael Dixon gets his gets cleared on the eligibility waiver. Um, if not, we can have a chance to have three great senior guards. So, uh, um, you know, hopefully uh, uh, that can translate into a lot of w a lot of wins. Uh, yeah.